<laughs> Happy Doomsday. <laughs> like, I already picked my candidate for the next election. It's going to be the asteroid. So I'm rooting for it. Wait, isn't that the same year Brandon wants to run for president? It was 2036, yeah. but of uh, course no, this he, shit's happening Yeah, now. he won't make it. It's good. It's fine. Ugh. Um, <laughs> so I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to this, and I can't believe we haven't covered it yet, like happy news like this. So uh, this is a CBS News article, and uh, the, the asteroid odds of hitting the Earth go up as Webb Telescope is tasked with studying potential city killer. I love that city killer. Great name. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Just the city, not the Earth. Yeah, what, what kind of asteroid is big I, enough I, to I, destroy hey, a city, but I, not I'm substantially gonna, more? Gonna, let me cook. I'm going to get into it. <laughs> okay. Like We're going to see the size because I was very hopeful about this. All right, size matters. Uh, size matters. Yeah. And, uh, and velocity of entry matters. And Penetra atmosphere matters. And composition of the, of the asteroid. Girth. If they're on and, top. Yes. And composition of the, of, of, of the, of the asteroid matters. Yes. <laughs> so... Um, I'm, I'm, I, I recruited a good friend of mine to give you a breakdown. He's also Canadian. Uh, this guy is Frankie McDonald's, and he's reporting from right. Sydney, Nova Scotia, about the what's going on right now. Kelly, could you roll the, could you roll the tape? <laughs> this is Frankie McDonald, my old TV station, live <laughs> in Sydney, Nova Scotia. The asteroid 2024 YR Force headed towards the Earth on December 22nd, 2032. It's going to bypass the Earth altogether. That's going to trigger a lot of earthquakes. Even an asteroid bypasses the Earth. It's going to cause a lot of earthquakes. And the asteroid is going to hit towards the Earth. It's going to bypass the Earth on December 22nd, 2032. It's a asteroid. <laughs> 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 I don't want to that. that. Telescope's ready. What, it's um... clear sky that night because... Like yeah, sure this is not the first time he's done this. No, Frankie oh, McDonald, he does these weather updates I, all the time. I, he does weather updates, literal updates, after updates. <laughs> I love this guy. He's making it big. He's on tour, Rob. He's known for being the most handsome man in Canada. Uh, he is the most handsome man in Canada because Viva uh, is here. Um, why, thank you. So no anyhow, <laughs> anyhow, you were asking about size and Kelly? She was laughing at me being the most handsome man in Canada. I don't know. Maybe we said she no. laughs at that. <laughs> All right. So uh, just to put size into perspective. Viva, you're uh, awesome. Oh, stop it. Don't so, worry. Just to put size into perspective, all right, uh, the smallest dot is the Swazilisi meteoroid that impacted Earth. That's around uh, 5 to 10 meters. I don't know what meters are, but they're... That's, like that's big. Point, a mile, point, 1.7 miles uh, or something. That's like, that's like 10 to 30 freedom feet right there, people. <laughs> and uh, wait, I actually have it Brassy here on my notes. If you had told me that I could have brought my meteorite from home, I got one from Campo del Cielo, like a big five kilogram chunk, oh, nice. which is beautiful. Well, anyhow, the metric we're talking about is the size of a Boeing 747, mm -hmm. but it's, the Boeing 747 is made from very lightweight materials like aluminum, and it's mostly empty. It's a very like heavy... What? Aluminium? Um, aluminum. Okay. And, and you're saying <laughs> the, the, the meteorite is mostly empty. No, no, no. The plane is mostly empty, made of like high-tech materials. Yes. And it's super light. So, so wait, uh, on this chart, I'm just to make sure I'm reading it correctly. The black circle is the size of the asteroid. African American. The gray circle. is the size <laughs> of the impact crater. No, wait, no, no, no. no. The impact crater will be exponentially or, or, bigger than that. What is the gray? What is the gray on that? Uh, I didn't make the chart. Did you, you know? read it? I would yeah, assume you know it. what it was. No, because yeah. I would have thought that maybe uh, it's well, like an iron core and it's ice on the outside or something. If it's the size of a plane, why don't we just have a Black Hawk but, helicopter but, crash but into it, it and then in space? Plane, yes. The plane, in outer space? See the movie Asteroid? You can't do that, okay? We're First, just, you got to land on about it. Something that's made of like really it. angry rock particles. And I'm being scientifical here. All right. In space, uh, no one can know you're a DEI hire. <laughs> so it's pretty freaking big. Uh, just a point. She said, huh? "Come on, <laughs> <laughs> boing." Um, <laughs> we just so, now refuse to let you finish. So this at, segment. At, at at the lower range, because that's just a circumference. At the lower range, it'd be the size of Olympic swimming pool at uh, 130 feet. Uh, on the bigger side, of, you know, size because they can't really tell the size because uh, they need to analyze how the how it's passing and how much light is reflecting. <laughs> Is it a uh, stony, icy, or metallic meteorite? They Ooh. say it's very reflective. Good question. Yeah. This guy is doing uh, his homework. Uh, Definitely has a telescope. It's most likely. <laughs> I do, actually. It's <laughs> <laughs> huh? on 2000, by the way. It's in the garage. <laughs> nice. It's most likely a metallic. Uh, That's going to be a heavy ass it's, meteorite. It's a then. very heavy me me meteorite. And, you know, the chances of it hitting the Earth, they're going up consistently. We started at 1%, then it went to 1.5%. And now we're getting closer to 2.4%. 
meaning that there's one in 49 chance of the thing actually hitting the earth. Um, talking about charts that I didn't make, uh, the next one is a really good one that it shows and it's animated. Like this next, nice. the budget here is going Show to us the impact. All right, so oh, there's a streak of them coming. No, yeah. no, all those are possible paths. Oh. That they projected, they made, they did the math. Oh, it's only hitting Central Africa. No big deal. <laughs> I'm gonna get. Well, into if it. it hits the water though before it gets there, then it's no, a big deal. No, I think like Brandon, us. Brandon thinks that's Alaska, by the way. And so. there's a <laughs> uh, there's a slight chance that it might hit the moon, and that that will be a bigger disaster than Ooh, anything else. Yeah. All right. Why? Because the moon is much lower and controls basic functions of the Everything. earth, like so tides. It knocks the moon out of its orbit. Okay. Uh, that would, that would that, knock that, us out of that'd our be orbit. like. That'd probably be the worst case scenario because that that will put everything out of whack. Although that is one of the primary functions uh, of the moon. Look, it's the, actually there. It, it intercepts asteroids. The worst thing would be if it impacted deeply into Uranus. But the, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been waiting on that one. So I'm um, done. from that's that what the graph, movie Deep Impact was about. This is basically about. the line of places that could impact. Uh, it allegedly, if it impacts, you know, in land, not not, not in the ocean, uh, it could hit Ecuador, Venezuela, uh, Colombia. India, Pakistan, Sudan, Ethiopia, or, or Bangladesh? Would it be the, inappropriate to ask? Never what? mind. No, come on. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 now. I ask you a lot that. of questions. Hmm? I ask you a lot of questions. Okay. Come on. W which one would be the best case scenario? India. <laughs> Wow. I didn't even hesitate. I, I did wow. not support wow, guys. Now, the worst case scenario, it, and this is serious, would be uh, hitting the city of Bogota, Colombia, because it's the most densely populated City that is Hot in the girls. ring and beautiful women there. Well, yeah. Why do women. I feel like these scientists? Oh my gosh! No, but they, they've never even seen the episode of The Simpsons when Homer says, "Oh, what? what it's going to burn up in the atmosphere, and what's going to land is going to be no bigger than the size of a chihuahua's head." That's what's going to happen. That's why we have an atmosphere. Oh no! This is to put in perspective the last, because you know, like everything was happy until now. But <laughs> even if it hits Earth and it's a city killer, uh, this is sites of the uh, of the meteor that in. Uh, did impact during the last extension, extension and it's called, uh, oh my God, I forgot the name. Well, but that's <laughs> the one that heated all the dinosaurs mm -hmm. and um, it was about the size of New York. Oh wow! And and, and don't we lurk, live in like a firmament and there the Earth is flat and there is no space. So where would these might, come from? Dinosaurs might not have even existed. <laughs> Just kidding. I, well, no, I mean, there's there's a reason to believe that half of what we know about dinosaurs is completely fraudulent. Oh, like, well, just the other, like, a, like a few yeah, years wait. ago, they were like, dinosaurs actually had feathers. And I'm like, yeah. that was never I mean, have you seen How about this one? How about this one? So at the museums, like only 1% of the dinosaur skeleton is from actual bone. The yeah. rest yeah. of it is just plastic. Have, have no, you no, seen the, what they've done to the Spinosaurus in the last two I, years? I know. It's a shame. Uh, so, it, it used to be like a giant. No, they're like, no, it's, no, it was just in the water so, and it was on four legs and looks all dumb So now. getting back... Back on track, <laughs> we're not going to have a dinosaur-level extension. It probably won't even mess with the climate, all right? And now I brought some really good reasons why we should have an uh, 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 extension-level meter impacting the Earth. The first one is tipping at Subway, all right? This tipping, <laughs> thing, <laughs> this tipping thing is out of control. Matter of fact, they're, they're limiting my ability to make a better sandwich with that glass thing they put in the middle. I need to stand right next to the guy that's making the sandwich, and I have the glass thing in between, and then he will make a worse sandwich, and I have to tip him, all right? Not everything should be tipped. Pay them a livable wage, but but it's absolutely out of control. Oh, I totally agree. Huh? They have that tip option at the end on the uh, ATM. It's ridiculous. I, I I'm, I'm no standing right next face. to him the whole time and see how he shorts me on the meat. The $5 like, foot long is now $15. Jared's been in prison. Plus, for Subway is not what it used to be. Plus tip. Second reason, voice notes. All right? They are the worst, all right? They hey, have, Siri, send Humberto to a text. Huh? Way to call out Vinny. No, they have the old, okay, phone calls. They're, they're, you know, you, you have a certain time, you know, like phone calls take time, but you can interrupt, all right? Uh, text messages, you can read faster, slower, you can stop at any time. Voice note, they combine the two worst things from phone calls uh, that it takes a certain time to listen to it, even if you, you two exit and you can't interrupt, all right? So they're just terrible all around, and it's a very good reason for a huge answer yeah. to hit. So we, stop we already... sending them, Kelly. Yes. Literally a 45-second one yesterday. <laughs> so <laughs> this timing is perfect. Anything, we, already had, any, we already had voice notes. Anything, it was called letting it go to voicemail. No, but what I love is also everyone turns into like a philosopher when they're leaving a voicemail. Yeah. It's like, and uh, yeah, so I'm thinking, uh, you know, you need to really do that. And uh, Hey, but I, they're giving I, us the receipt for the terrible. Justin Baldoni-Blake right? Lively uh, thing. So. The third reason is Lex Friedman. 
And then let's go to the next slide. You believe Lex Friedman is worthy of an extinction level event? 100%. 100%. Wow. And the worst thing is coming out of Norway is fermented herring. Like they, they don't ship that, by the way. Like I was, I was. Oh no, it's a fermented why shark. Would they, that, it smells so bad that they will not ship it internationally. It's called Suron Storming, and it's a uh, fermenting Baltic herring. And they also have the shark version, and it's so smelly that in their tradition they need to eat it outside, because uh, if not, the house will be stink up forever. And that's typical Norwegian behavior. So, um, <laughs> yeah. so uh, a good wrap for my uh, my segment that it was compelling and rich. Do they ship fermented herring? I know that when I was buying durian, they w I remember them not shipping. Oh, fermented herring known as surströming can be shipped. Various online retailers, specialty stores offer shipping of the sweetest delicacy. When I is your birthday? I'm going to buy you a can. Uh, May. Uh, it's coming up May 23rd, actually. All right. I'm going to buy you a can. I, 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 I used Gemini? to be into like, is, huh? is it Gemini. Yes, I am. Me too. Oh, well, then we get along well in life. And uh, the other one there, Sagittarii. This is Sagittarius. I'm Sagittarii. Oh, see, we get along very well. Sagittarii. Well. I don't That's know what, what he said. Sagittarius is next week. Mm. You guys are funny. Uh, yeah, but if you, I'll, I'll take some of that. Like I used to be into eating the, the what, trying the nastiest stuff on earth. Um, <laughs> durian was durian was right up there. Like, sure. I'll invite you for meatloaf night at my house. <laughs> 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 that shit tastes like a boot, Caitlin. You got to get better at it. Oh, uh, is that the end of the segment? Yeah, it is. Then I would like to ask a question, guys. If you knew that an asteroid was heading towards Earth and we only had forty-eight hours to live, twenty-four hours to live, what's your final meal? Final. What do you do? What is the final thing that you're eating before the asteroid hits the Earth and we all die in a, a fiery, awful, horrific death? The Eva irony, you know, in, in, in tribute to our flesh burning with the asteroid, I'd have a barbecue and a martini, but that's pretty much what I do every night anyhow. Barbecue so. and a martini. Brandon, protein powder. Probably some, some Mexican food or something. Like so you can crack Mexican yourself on the way out. Good. Uh -huh. Burrito and some margs. <laughs> and so... But margaritas? Yeah. That the wow, I never for you? Yeah. You're you're going with meatloaf. Oh uh, right? no, God, no. <laughs> I'm Brandon, actually Waffle Brandon, House. I'm, I'm gonna, Twist. I'm gonna spread some truth. Brandon loves the least manly drinks because I can you say gay? Well, I don't anymore? drink a lot. Uh, no, he can doesn't we drink say, a lot. Yes, we can say gay again. Oh my Trump's god. Trump's president. Margaritas, yeah. uh pina coladas. You will see Brandon. Oh, I saw him have an espresso martini. Yes. And I was I was like, yes. that doesn't make sense. Did you accidentally grab the no, wrong no, no. drink? He probably will drink once every two weeks, once every two weeks, but he will Less pick than that. Uh, he will pick the the worst drinks. And what would I do? I'd be too busy Viking it Viking in it up. Like, Vicodin. What's yeah. the point? <laughs> so you're, you're, you're doing pills. You're doing Vicodin no, as a meteorite do, hits. I will, I will have Viking behavior. Like, oh. I'll be too busy bathing in the blood of my enemies, pillaging villages. What would be the point of that? You have 24 hours left. Oh, I, I have, Honestly, I have given the number game. of places you've traveled, you couldn't even get to half of your enemies I, in I, 24 hours. I would hours. burn a village. That's what I would do. Okay, wow. Well, oh. Connor, what would... I? Just so you know, I actually... I wasn't thinking about it, but then when you said that uh, you wanted to eat pills, that'd probably be what I would take Vicodin. Yeah. And then I'd sit at the beach and enjoy. Mm -hmm. Connor, what would be your final meal uh, if an asteroid was heading towards the Earth? 32-ounce porterhouse in an old-fashioned... An old, watch, wow. watch the world end peacefully on a, on a balcony somewhere. All right, well, that's it for... Uh, what a depressing note to leave off on. Yeah. Oh, I was wait, hoping uh, we could leave off on a... Wait, does Brandon, Kelly have all that weird stuff for or us? something to make the audience I not do, bummed? Push-ups? I do have stuff, oh. but I think uh, Brandon's got a hard out, so... I do have a hard out, but... Um, hard out. Well, it doesn't have a hard out. It's planet Earth because uh, Trump's taking us right on the back... On the right course of history... Back on Trump track. will deflect the way, asteroids back into space. Do you know what's going to happen? And I'm, I'll predict it. If this meteorite gets actually reasonably close, the technology is going to be to create a magnetic force somewhere using another planet to draw the uh, meteorite away from it because metal, mag metal uh, meteorites are magnetic, or at least they can be attracted by metal. So they're going to like convert Pluto or Uranus into a magnetic attractant to pull the meteorite away Who from it. Who do you think would be the person that leads the technology? Elon Musk. And you know what the right left there. would say? Look at Elon Musk trying to <laughs> harness the power of another planet when he must think he's the uh, owner of the universe. Why are you so hopeful? They, billionaires and they, them that you guys talk about, they're going to get spaceships and get the fuck out and leave us here. <laughs> no, but, but, that's, yeah. what, that's what's going to happen. Think of that. Like, okay, Elon, well, not Elon Musk, uh, Zuckerberg building a, uh, a bunker. What, what good is it living when A, anyone who sees you is going to want to kill you and eat you and eat your food, and you're living alone? Like, I would, living in space, watching the Earth burn is not an existence. I mean, you'd almost rather be dead at that point. So if you like this clip, click right here. And if you want to see more like it, click right here. Stay angry, patriots.